<laughs> where they do that? Where do they do that at? Listen, man, you tuned into the right video at the right time. It's your big brother Trend. Listen, if you're watching this video right now, I'm not about to tell you nothing that you don't already know. I'm just going to confirm it to you to let you know it's not your fault, all right? You not the one, all right? But you the chosen one. Listen, man, you got to say it with big bro one more time, man. Say, listen, listen, stay tuned through this whole entire video. If you subscribe to me, you already know at the end of every video, big bro got something very special for you. Today, I got something very, 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 very special for you if you stay tuned to the end of the video, all right? So let's all, let's go ahead and get right into this because I don't want to waste no time. Listen, so first and foremost, if you're a real true chosen one, you're going to understand what I'm saying right now. If you're not a chosen one, you're not going to like this video. You're going to leave a negative comment. You're going to be hating. You're just not going to understand it because the light doesn't understand. The dark doesn't understand the light. You're just not going to get it. It's not for you. Okay. And shout out to the, all the people out there that be talking junk in the comments. We love you. We really love you, you know, and we are praying for you. And we hope that one day you can act with more positivity. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. Anyway, but listen, chosen one at the end of the day. I know you already know this and you probably been thinking this every other day, but at the end of the day, listen, they going to need your help, right? See, you've been quiet for all a long time because I know, I know it's, it's not kind of bad to say this. See, everything you be thinking, the world thinks is bad because you're not of the world. You see what I'm saying? So you've been trying to keep your stuff tucked. Tucked in, you be, you be trying to tuck in, you know, tuck in your chain. Man, it's some gangsters out here. Tuck in my chain now. I wanted to see what I got now. You've been tucking in all your talent and all your potential, but you really know that you know the answers to a lot of people's problems, don't you? So listen, this what this is what God put on my spirit to tell you. At the end of the day. They gonna need you and they gonna need you to help them because they gonna continue to go through their suffering because they deny you. See, they denied Jesus how many times? One time, two times. Was it Judas? They denied Jesus three times before they started to believe that he was the son of God. He kept saying it. Now, see, see, Jesus was bold. You know what I'm saying? Jesus was bold. You know what I mean? He was going around saying, I'm the son of God. I'm, I'm the chosen one. Now, I can imagine, I can imagine how it was when Jesus came on the scene. You'd be like, oh. you'd be like, oh. He said he the son of God. I mean, think about it. If somebody really came into your life and started saying that and they was really a positive person and you didn't see not one speck of sin on them, it would scare you too. You feel me? But like, Listen, you've been trying to keep your gifting. You've been trying to keep your anointing and your blessing is on the ropes. Have you or have you not? You try to keep it to yourself because you know you're special. You know you blessedness. And see, at the end of the day, they're going to need you. And they're going to need your help. And see, you were sent to help everybody that you come in contact with, with for some type of reason. For, for something that's going on in their life, you believe it or not, but your life is not a mistake. Everything that happened in your life is not by accident. See, and that's because you led by the Holy Spirit. See, if you're a true child of the most high God, the creator of the universe, don't nothing happen by mistake. Can't no accidents happen to you like it do regular people. Because, see, you, you led to do the will of God. You led by the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is directing your path. So everybody that come in your path, they got something to do with it. <laughs> They got something. They got something to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. And see, a lot of people going to see your anointing. They're going to see your blessedness. They're going to see how great you are. They're going to see how much positive energy you have. You know, they're going to see your inner beauty. You know, he sees your he when he seen your inner beauty, he went straight to that mountain right on that hill with the binoculars. Now he watching over you, trying to control you from a distance with a remote control called the cell phone. That's what he doing. And, and what we need to do on Saturday, we need to do this. Now, I got this man coming over to fix this house, but as soon as he leaves, now, I want you to be ready. I want you to be ready, and I want you to wear black, and I want you to have on some red bottoms. 
You got enough money for the red bottle? Do you even own a pair of red bottle? See, that's where he threw the shade. That's how you know he a Decepticon. You know what I'm saying? But listen, a lot of people is not going to be able to ask you for help when they come in your presence. You know, they they feel they feel that you a healer. They feel that you a teacher. They can kind of sense that it's something special about you. You know, they 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 can feel that you are psychic. You know, they can feel these things. You know what I mean? It ain't it, it ain't nothing that they can see on the on the surface. This this is why I'm making them scared because it's all spiritual. You see what I'm saying? The glory of God is working through you. You understand what I'm saying? Through you on the spiritual level. You feel me? So when people come in contact with you, they want to ask you for help. They want to ask you for something that they're going through, but they just simply can't because too much pride. Mm -hmm, bro, she got too much pride, bro. All them guys hitting her up in that DM, in that inbox. She looking at you like, huh? Oh, oh. Where he do that at? I mean, she got it. She got so many guys hitting her up, bro. She done got deep into her ego. And, and now she just, social media has just blew her head out the water. But in real life, it ain't really like that, though. That's why she hollered at you. You see what I'm saying? So they got too much pride. People got too much ego. You know what I'm saying? They can't stand to see you win. If you're a real true chosen one, you always been winning all your life. You just kept it on the hush mouth. <laughs> you just kept it on the hush mouth, man. You didn't even say nothing about it because you humble. You know what I'm saying? You humble. You don't got to brag and boast. Adam, as a matter of fact, if you're a true chosen one, you try to be quiet as you can. They, they know I'm here already. Man, all right, man. All right. I'll go dance. I'll go dance. Everybody move off the dance floor when you dance. And sit back and just be watching you from that mountaintop. Be looking at you. Be trying to see what you all about. Because they know you're the chosen one. See, listen. Think about it like this. At the end of the day, they're going to need your help. And I'm going to tell you why. Think about it like this. Think about paying, paying bills. Like if you got a power bill, right? You got to pay the power bill every month. Lights, bill is due, and stuff like that, right? Now, what if a storm come? And it knocked out all the power in the whole city, Right? Right? You ever had that experience before where all the lights went out because it was a storm in your city? Oh, I mean, we don't get them storms out here in Arizona, but it'd be too hot out here for some storms, but you get the point, right? I used to stay on the East Coast. I'm a country boy, you know, so I, I already know about all them storms and hurricanes and tornadoes. Huh? So anyway, like when a storm come and all the lights go out, what can you do at that moment other than sit back and just wait for the power company to turn the lights back on? You can't do nothing. You're going to go get some candles. You're going to eat some food. You're going to sing some songs. That's what you're going to do. This little light is mine. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Ain't no light gonna turn on until the power bill turn to the power company turn it on. And if your bill was due, they definitely not gonna turn it back on. So what do you gotta go do in the meantime while your power is out? Oh yeah. Well, you gotta have to go to Lowe's or somewhere, and you're gonna have to get you a generator. You're gonna have to get you a generator. Or if you had a generator, you're gonna have to turn on and power the generator. Well, guess what, chosen one? You the gener you the generator. You the you the generator. You understand what I'm saying? And see, sometimes, sometimes people like to rely on you when times is really, really bad. Have you ever noticed that people only reach out to you? People only call you and, you know, they, they ask you for stuff when it's really bad, man. When the storm really came and it blew stuff and it knocked stuff over, man, that's when they call you. Can you please help me? I, 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 Now listen, now now think about it. On the regular day, they ain't nowhere to be found. On the regular day, they don't never call you and say, what's up? How you doing? Where you going? Where you been? What you doing today? On the regular day, they ain't gonna never say that because once again, it's because of their ego. It's because of their ego. It's because of that pride. She got too many DMs, dog. She ain't never gonna call you. She got everybody to take her out on a dinner date tonight and get some steak and potatoes. 
Oh. Yeah, she do. I mean, ask, just, just ask her one time. I guarantee you, bro, if she a chosen one, she definitely got them lined up. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Don't get it twisted for one second, brother. But that's why the reason why people won't really reach out to you. That's why they won't ask you for no help. It's because it's too much ego, man. You know what I'm saying? They they've been seeing you win for so long. They don't want to see you win no more. They know you a winner. Deep down inside, they know you a winner. They know you the goat. You know what I'm saying? Deep down inside, they know you you the one to carry the torch. They know you the anchor in the race. They already know you the fastest. They already know you the smartest. They already know you the most intelligent. Huh? They know this. Okay? And so you like the last resort. You the person that people call when they can't do nothing else. They don't call everybody else who they can try to call to try to ask for some help, but they don't they dare not to call the chosen one. Because they because they know if they call you, it make them look like, hey man, like I don't want to call you cuz I like you. I like you so much. I admire you. You look good. You got it going on. So like you the only you only dude that's really doing something. These other dudes be screwing around and stuff like that with everybody. You the only one in our life. I ain't trying to call him yet, girl. Like, like I'm gonna stay here for last. He deserves. I'm not calling him. And fellas, you be wondering why she don't really call you like that. You wonder why she won't call you right now, right? She won't call you right now because she don't got the integrity to call you right now because she's a. Like, he the chosen one. I can't, I, I, I just can't, I just, my self-esteem is not that high yet. I need to get me some red bottoms first. When I get this hair done, when I get this hair done, and I go get me an outfit, and I go take that next picture, I'm going to call my, matter of fact, let me call my photographer right now. Seymour, I need to take some pictures um this weekend. Uh, can you please be available for me? I'm going to pay you, and then I'm going to hook you up too at the end of the day with some dessert. No, I'm, t I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna pay for your dessert when you go out with your girlfriend. I'm, I got you covered. I know you, I know you hungry, cause you a little photographer. You a photographer boy. Okay, all right. That's the only time she gonna be able to get back at you, dog. That's the only time she gonna be able to reach out to you is after she got she built her her self esteem. But it ain't really never gonna happen because you the chosen one. See, you the one, you the one that she really want. But see. At the end of the day, they gonna call you for help when times get hard and when times get bad. They remember you. Somebody comment below and say they remember me, big bro trend. Put your name beside it too. I want to see who different from me, who else. Put your name beside it. Comment below and say they remember me, big bro, and put your name beside it. Put me some emojis down there. I want to see the, all the stuff that y'all be using when y'all text. Come on, I'm creative, y'all. Listen. You the last resort. You the cornerstone. You the one that people depending on. Now, I know you've been thinking this, but if the breadwinner go down, everybody go down. If the breadwinner lose, the whole family lose. You know what I'm saying? If you screw up, everything gets screwed up and you know this man you know this you've been feeling it in your heart and that's why you try so hard to stay out of trouble that's why you try so hard to stay away from these decepticons because you know deep down inside you cannot mess up like everybody else the devil is after you constantly trying you waiting on you to slip and fall one more time i dare you to walk outside without the reading glasses on you're going to trip. You're going to fall down the steps. <laughs> Lord forbid that that happens. But I dare you to walk outside with the reading glass, without the reading glasses on. I dare you to walk outside without putting some list of reading. I dare you to walk outside without flossing. Them gums going to bleed all the way going down the highway. The, you, the devil waiting to attack you with gingivitis. Say he don't say he won't do it. Huh? I dare you, I dare you to walk outside, bro, without even working out. Boy, they're going to be looking at you. The first person, the first girl come up to you and say, oh, you look, you look good, boy. She going to say, do you work out? No, I'm good and well, you ain't worked out. But that's what she going to say. She going to mess around with your ego because she already know you ain't working out. Oh, where they do that at? Man, listen, y'all got to say it with Big Bro one more time, man. Listen. 
Listen. But see, here's the thing. They know that God got your back. They know that God got your back. And see, they, at the moment, and people like five seconds of fame. In the moment, they think it's all a game in the moment because people always go for the happy meal. We want to go through that. We make that. Yeah, kids, what y'all want today? Mommy, mommy, me chicken. Nugget. I want nugget, 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 nugget. Give me apple pie. 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 Give me yeah, we're going to Wendy's right now because I ain't got that much money and I can't afford it. All that food that y'all be buying at Chick-fil-A is getting a little bit too pricey for me. All right? Listen. They thought it was all a game. But they know that God got your back. They know God got your back. You feel me? They see it. They see it. They feel it. They sense it. They noticed it when they was around you, when they was in your presence. And see, here's the thing. When they run to that mountain on a hill and they be watching you, that's when they figure out the grass ain't greener on the other side. See, you probably wonder, why I don't got no friends? Why nobody don't want to F with me, man? Why I can't have nobody come chill at my house? If you a lady, you'd be like, man, I'm so lonely. I don't be having nobody over here that want to kick it with me. Only if they knew what I could do for them. You ever thought that sometimes ladies like, man, only if these guys knew what I can really do for them. Man, they will want to kick it with me all the time. They want to take me to the bowling alley. They want to take me to the Mission Star restaurant. They want to take me to the movies. Everything. They don't really know, though, because I'm, like, antisocial because I don't want to give it out to everybody. You ever feel like that? You just, like, I got good energy. And having good energy and having a good vibration and being the chosen one, it's like, you know what? I don't. I can't even just really just divvy it out to everybody like that because... It is so contagious that if I give it out too much, people go crazy over your energy, don't they? Like, they go crazy over you. Like, and you you done had this happen many times where people don't went, like, haywire over you. They don't went nuts over you because you done gave them a little too much sprinkle, huh? You done sprinkled too much seasoning on that food. Now, you done sprinkled too much. Now they salty. Okay, but listen, I'm going to tell you something. Listen, sometimes... In order for God to show people that you the chosen one and that you blessed, sometimes he got to take them away out your life. Because once they get out your life and they don't have that no more, they don't have that privilege and that benefit to be able to use you no more. They don't have that privilege and that benefit to be able to utilize you anymore. They don't have that privilege and that benefit to be able to get some more of that Google anymore. They don't have that privilege and that benefit to be able to experience good times with you anymore. So God going to send them to that mountain on that hill and then that's when they going to feel that... I lost the blessedness. Something around me had some anointing on it. Where, where did it go? It was you. It's you, ain't it? It's you. Listen, man. It's your big bro trend, man. Listen. But listen, this is why I told you at the end of the day, they're going to come back and they're going to need your help because God always win at the end of the day. See, God is a master worker. God is a master architect. The way he set your life up and the way he moved people and maneuver people around and you don't even know what he's doing. God ordered your footsteps way before you was born. God put the certain people that's coming into your life way before you even knew it was happening. Why? Because you're doing the will of God. It was already pre destined for you so god already know what's going on god already know who to bring into your life and they're gonna need you again but it just takes some time they're gonna come back that person who you thinking about right now they're gonna come back somebody comment below and say they're gonna come back you know why because they gotta come back they gotta come back they gotta come back you understand what i'm saying and they're gonna be at your service Especially if you got a business, you got something that you're working on in your life, they got to come back and be at your service. Because right now, they the life that they live in is not as good as when it was when they was with you. I'm telling you, it's the truth. I don't know who they with, where they work at, where they live at right now. You don't even care, do you? Because you got God. I know you got a relationship with God. I know I got a relationship with God. I know how it goes. Like, I know how it goes. Oh. Uh. Like, I do too. But listen, they understand now that the grass ain't greener on the other side. They understand something is missing in their life. And I guarantee you, they, they watching you and they going to come back 
in some form or fashion, whether that's through another person, whether that's you meeting them up in what they call coincidences, ain't gonna be no coincidence. They just gonna come and they gonna need some healing. They gonna need some therapy, okay? They gonna need to take their dose. You gonna have to give. You gonna have to give a dose, bro. A dosage, huh? Five hundred milligrams, huh? You gotta give her five hundred milligrams again, cause she she needed medicine. She needed medicine, huh? She need good energy. She need good vibration. You know what I'm saying? Cause she right now she in starvation, shivering. Uh, only thing she got on the side is it Ray Ray and Pookie and and, 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 and Doo Doo. That's all she got on the side. Don't even really want them though. But she she gonna come back to you. You know why? And then she, here's the thing is. They're going to come back and sometimes they're going to be a service for you. Now, that's a positive thing. Sometimes people come back into your life and they're going to be a service to you. You know, like they're going to be a service to you and they're going to want to do things for you to try to help you. Now, that's a beautiful thing. Now, that's if you're on top of your game and man enough to handle real life situations, that is. It's your big bro trend, man. Chosen one. At the end of the day, they're going to need you. I already told you. I didn't tell you nothing that you don't already know. You've been thinking this. And listen, you're going to have to help them in some form or fashion. I hope this video resonated with you. Now, if you're not a chosen one and you're just trying to understand if you are, run this video back through one more time. You might find out that you are the chosen one, okay? Stop leaving negative comments on the bottom of spiritual videos. That's not healthy. We're all looking at you in a positive light. So can you look at us in positive light, okay? It's your big bro trend. I told you if you stay to the end, I got something very special for you. Listen. So today, y'all, I'm going to change my merch bar up. Y'all see the merch bar down there with my clothes, my shirts and stuff like that? Y'all been slipping it. I don't know what's wrong with y'all sometimes, man. Y'all be slipping, man. Y'all don't even take them, get the merch. Y'all don't be wanting the necklaces or nothing. Where they do that at? Who, who, who are y'all? People be texting me like, text me like, three, one day, one day, when, when we all become extinct and the aliens come back, I'm going to get me a hat. Come on, man. God got you covered, dog. Invest into whatever you believe in. Don't worry about money. The money, it come and go. It been coming all your life and going all your life. It gonna, you spend it, it's going to come back. You spend it, it's going to come back. Get what you want. But make sure you get a No Decepticons hat, okay? It's, it's going to be available in the merch bar down at the bottom. Get you a No Decepticons hat or a No Decepticons t-shirt down at the bottom. Get one. Add me on Instagram. With a, with a, with a, when you get it, take a picture of yourself inside the garments, inside the apparel. I'm going to post it to my page forever. All right. Also, listen, if you ain't got my new book, man, I can fly to my children's book. Get it for your kids, man. It's simple. $3.99 book. Come on, man. $3.99 book. I can fly too. And we all love the kids. We all want to put the right things in the kids' minds and stuff like that, man. And so... Get your kids this book. I can fly to on Amazon.com, Barnes and Nobles, wherever. This is a paperback version. Uh, you can get a hardback version or you can get the Kindle version. Whatever you want. Get the book. I can fly to for your kids today. Stop flexing. All right. Also, I'm supporting my brother from a different mother, man. I'm supporting my brother, Young Jeezy, man. I know some of y'all probably listen to Young Jeezy out there, man. I listen to Young Jeezy growing up, coming from the hood. And now he's turned into a businessman. Now he's turned into an entrepreneur and an author. And he's married now, doing his thing, living life to his fullest. Get this book, Adversity for Sale, just to support this brother, man. Y'all know nobody don't really support us brothers like that, doing all this positive stuff. Don't nobody, they want us to be thugs and gangsters and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And womanizers. But listen, support this, support this brother right here, man. This brother, Young Jeezy, man, Jay Jenkins. Get his book. I bought it. You see it right here. This is not. Yeah, this is the book. And I'm reading now. I'm going on the second chapter. I'm going to put that link also in the comment section. At the very top of the comment section, I'm going to put all the links for this stuff that I'm telling you about right now. Also, get you some black seed oil, man. Black seed cold press oil. I done took all of them. Look. It's all my mind's all the way down there. See, I be doing what I'm telling y'all to do. Look, I don't already took half. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to get y'all healthy because when I start glowing up, my glow up be blowing up. I'm y'all don't don't say I didn't try to help y'all get there. Look, this is what I'm down to that much now. Look, I'm down to that much. I don't use all the whole top. Look, sea moss, black sea oil. Get you something like your big bro trend, man. Um, 
But last but not least, this is one of my other favorites, man. I'm, I'm on to this too, Green Vibrance. Uh, vibrance. If you if you drink or if you smoke or whatever, you got to have some of this in your body, bro. This is going to put all the nutrients in, back in your body that you need. Look at all them nutrients. It's over, what they say? It's over 25 billion probiotics in this. Only thing you got to do is take one scoop and put it inside your soda, put it inside your, your water, whatever, and just drink it. Boom. You got 25 billion probiotics in your body that quick. And if you got something that you're dealing with, some type of alias or something like that, like, boom. This is it. Just get you a little container of this right now. That's going to be in the very bottom in the comment section at the top too. Remember, if you go to the comments and go to the very top comment, you're going to see all the links. You're going to see this link for Green Vibrance. Last but not least, I know I'm coming at y'all with some stuff, but I got the stones back. I made my necklaces. I'm making necklaces again. If you want a necklace from me, hit me in the... Um, Hit me in my Gmail, trinisenderson at gmail.com. Y'all know my Gmail. Y'all know my email, okay? Necklace is $30 a pop. It ain't free because I don't want to got to wrap it up. I don't want to got to ship it. I don't want to got to drive my car to the post office and all that. I don't want to got to do that, okay? So the $30 a pop, that's all I'm charging. But when you get it, it's going to attract more charge to you, okay? More energy to you, more attractiveness to you. And you're going to notice how good your day go. My my morning been so good. And I just, when I was on my way back home uh, this evening or whatever, I was looking at my amethyst like this, like, man, I love these crystals, man. This, this These rocks come from earth. God put this stuff on the earth for us, man. It's like hidden stuff. You know what I mean? It's just like plants. Like God put all these plants here for herbs so they can create stuff like this. But see, People don't know that though. They be like, he crystal, he, you doing the devil's work. You got a stone on your neck. You got a rock on your neck. You got something come from the earth on your neck. And you put a rope on it. You, you, you ain't doing God's work. Boy, God put the stones here. Shut up. So we rocking the stones and the stuff that God put here on the earth, man. Because we natural beings, man. We don't need all no diamonds and stuff. Look, I got this right here too. This is another one of my favorites right here. Um... I ain't even gonna tell you what it is. Speak or let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below and everybody let everybody know what that is right there. You see them get little specs up in there. But if you want one, send me an email right now, trinisenderson at gmail.com and say, big bro, I want some stones. And better be ready to pay because it ain't I'm not booking back, I'm not boxing you up no necklace for free. Huh? Okay, all right. Anyway, man, I love you. Stay fresh to death, stay blessed chosen one at the end of the day just remember they gonna need you to help them because you got the power peace and blessings give this video a thumbs up comment below peace